there you have it, the transporter with the secret area. So let's find out what I put in there. Let's do it. Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Art of Our Van. Carrie is inside, or it's a lot warmer than it is out here. If you have not seen my hard shell case that I've developed for my solo stove, you need to go back and watch the transporter uh, video, which is, uh, uh, it's on the solo stove I was gonna say solo stove channel, <laughs> but it's actually on the solo stove playlist. I actually have figured out a way to have like a little, I guess I call it a secret compartment in there. So just to clarify until you watch the other video what the secret space is. So it's a dollar oil pan into this tub, which you'll see the specifics on the other video. I drop it down inside and I get my solo stove. Please get the handle guys, get the handle. It causes like a little space down below it and there you have it, the transporter with the secret area. So let's find out what I put in there. Let's do it! Okay, so the first thing that I put into my secret compartment, the oil pan if you will, that is why I carry a lighter. <laughs> you know, uh, well I always buy the better uh, the lighter. And you should. Uh, make sure that you get one with a fuel level indicator. Yeah, that's super important. I like to have a lighter where I can control the flame. So what I do is I take it to the smallest setting. And the reason that I do that is because I've heard many times you like want to like preserve your um, uh, resources and so like your knife you don't want to use your knife blade more than you can you don't want to use your magnesium rod more than you need to uh, and so the same thing with the lighter so I just put it at the lowest setting so that it's gonna last the longest and it doesn't use my resource so I don't know maybe that's the dork in me so that's one okay so the second thing I like to put in there in no particular order uh, is I like to soak these flat cotton pads in Vaseline they make it is a great great fire starter uh, just in its lightweight because I wanted to keep the weight down so anyway these are really really great fire starters and it's fun you know you find several ways to start a fire and you just have fun with it safely of course so uh, number two is going to be Vaseline infused cotton pads Okay, so number three. Man, I am the king of comfort and I love to have fun with minimal effort. <laughs> and so if you have kids or even you or whoever, uh, this is a great activity. It's just a small little uh, magnifier. Uh, it fits in my pocket. I ordered even more like 10 of them for nothing, you know? Different ways to start the fire can be fun. You know, so you can get the kids out there or you can get your wife out there. I know Carrie's <laughs> chomping at the bit to start a fire with this magnifier. <laughs> you know, I keep one in my wallet and an uh, embarrassing story, I broke it out at Walmart with my daughter one time to read uh, an ingredient. I mean, I had to, I couldn't see it. But anyway, <laughs> she's mortified. So when the sun's bright, you know, I can like burn myself a little pile going and transfer it over into the fire and get the satisfaction, I suppose, of uh, starting a fire with a magnifying glass. So, number three, magnifier. Uh, the next thing on my list to keep into my secret compartment is a piece of foil. And I cut it into little squares, uh, being that whenever I start my fire, and I can transport my fire to wherever I need it to be. You conserve your resources, is that I can use a, a little square piece of foil a bunch of times. So, and a piece of foil is very, very handy. It comes in a lot of different uses also, and it's light again. Here we go, foil. Next thing in the bucket. Okay, the second thing that I keep in the uh, transporter secret compartment, uh, or whatever I called it, <laughs> is something super important is going to be duct tape. You know, I use Gorilla duct tape and I use the extra wide and then I just strip it into little small sections if I need that. On the lighter, I put the duct tape on the end of the lighter. I don't cover up the level on there for sure. Dude, this stuff is the best fire starter. It burns forever and it's super sticky so make sure you stick it on something before you light it because it will stick onto your finger. <laughs> Not that I've done that, of course. Um, so just, I usually put it on a piece of foil. It could be a candle. This stuff burns so slow. It does have a weird burning plastic smell to it though, so. You know, probably a bug repellent also, but 
anyway this is the next thing i put into my transporter secret compartment duct tape okay continuing on i always keep a magnesium rod inside the little secret compartment the bigger the rod that is the bigger the circumference the diameter of the rod the better spark you get so of course i got the best one possible which you should too i'll link it below anyway it's an uber lieben uber lieben and it comes with this cool striker and it has like a place to measure here and everything but man what a spark this thing puts out so and it's fun you know to start a fire different ways so i like to do it it's one the uber lieben fire starter i always love to have a quality headlamp so i put the headlamp down inside the little secret compartment and if y'all don't know i have a headlamp review on this this is a lead lenser i believe if i can read that small print is an mh10 and man this thing is a beast you know and, and i like it oh you can see it and I, I mean i do like a flashlight and everything uh, except that i want to be hands-free especially dirt at a fire you know where i can pick up wood and i can do my striker and i can do all that you know so the next thing in the secret compartment headlamp so anyway fire gloves the next thing but they're expert grill. I mean, they're better than normal, you know, because I like the grill gloves. So anyway, and I looked into getting some better gloves, like some ones you can put your hands in the fire and all that, but still, these have served my purpose really, really well, you know, so. So here we go, fire gloves in the bucket. But I do keep another set of uh, gloves in the secret compartment. Uh, the reason being is that when I'm handling wood, this are the gloves that I use because I want to keep my hands nice and soft, you know. So anyway, uh, these gloves are great for handling things when my hands are cold. There's multiple uses for these gloves and I always know where they are for sure. Uh, but anyway, mostly I use them when I'm making a fire in the solar stove. And I know I'm going way too far, but I usually do fluorescent colors on the top and that because I have laid these down and have lost them. <laughs> you know, so everything I get is like a, a bright color. Uh, I've learned from experience on that. So there you go. The next thing in the secret bucket. Another thing that I keep is going to be paracord. Paracord takes up no room. It has a thousand uses and I also can start a fire with it. Yeah, I can fray these ends, cut them off, put them on my foil and start a fire with this. I mean, I don't have to tell you the power of paracord, that's for sure, but it's compact and you can use it for a thousand different things and I can also start fire with it. So just another little handy something that I put inside the secret bucket. Okay, so we got helpful hand when we were looking at solo stoves online, which we love ours. So go check out our review and we actually have a solo stove playlist. <laughs> You'll get a kick out of it. So anyway, we had some information about how to clean it up. And so we use a paintbrush. I just get in there with the paintbrush when it's cool and I just you know what you do there's holes in the bottom and you sweep all of the what's left of the ash which is what's awesome about the solo stove there's hardly any ash at all into the bottom and you turn it over and you dump it out so we keep that in there again seal flat weighs nothing super handy straight in the bucket inside the solo stove not in the secret compartment we put a sack of fat wood we actually collect this fat wood if you don't know what fat wood is you'll love it it's interesting there's people whose channels is all about fat wood but you go hunting for it. it's a good activity for the kids go check out our video on it uh, fat wood me and Carrie went <laughs> and uh, it was interesting seeing Carrie and me both looking for fat wood so anyway I just we just keep it inside the solo stove so we just pull it out when we get there but it's an easy way you know that you have these fire starters ready to go and, and so, one other quick hint is i found out quickly that you're going to need to move the wood around but i don't want to carry like a fire poker in the basement of the rv you know where it's super long and so anyway i got a uh screw together fire poker I'm gonna link it down below, but it basically just screws together and I like this handle on it too. See how it has the grips on it and it's bigger. 
and it's bigger and wider. This fire poker, when it's disassembled, will fit inside our solo stove. And so this is awesome. Uh, I would definitely suggest, uh, uh, we like the collapsible one, but it very, very handy for you. And the last thing is, if you do not have a handle with your solo stove, you need to order one today. I'll put a link in it down below. <laughs> and. Uh, this thing will save your life. I knew it. It's just so cumbersome to carry, you know? And you carry it when it's a little warm too. So anyway, this handle, fantastic. We love our solo stove and we love our solo stove more now that I've found out a way to transport it in a hard shell and waterproof. It is awesome. And with the secret compartment in it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Check you later.